What's going on guys and uh, we're gonna take a little bit of a break from Majora's Mask because I have enough I have enough of those videos but um we're gonna record one board of a uh, Mario Party basically um it's Mario and his good friends but it looks like something's wrong what can it possibly be They're talking about who among them is the biggest star, the superstar. A superstar must be strong, says Wario. Anyway, so this is basically, this is basically going to be filler content while I work on Majora's Mask. Because the goal is to have more videos in advance because like I've been a, I like, I'm just going to come and, come and be honest with something. For the past couple of weeks, I've been focusing on long form content and I've been a borderline workaholic in the process because I just can't sh be a short channel anymore because, um, let's just say the shorts algorithm has recently changed. Dang, you don't get watch hours from, uh, shorts, but, um, yeah, they're basically arguing about who is the superstar, which is, uh, this was before the days where Mario Party really had any kind of story mode. And also, there is a chance I might have multiple takes of this because I am not playing this off the EverDrive. I'm playing this off my cartridge because I don't have everything unlocked on the EverDrive. Yeah, they're basically, um, Toad's basically saying, um, does it only take strength to be a superstar? And I go Wario and DK is still fighting. In order to be a superstar, it takes courage, wisdom, and power like in Zelda. Kindness. That would have been my second guess. So this is basically the pipe that ended up being reused in Mario Party Superstars. So, um, I'm just going to come out and say one thing. Um, Mario Party 1 really isn't one of my favorite games. Like, I like it mainly for the nostalgia purposes. But, like, um, there are some pretty glaring problems with this game that I have with this game. Like, um, I don't like some of the mini games. I don't like some of the boards. I feel like some of the mechanics in this game are also kind of punishing. I just gotta check my settings for a second. All right, good. Um, because I'm, I'm trying to avoid another uh, failed take of this. Yeah. Alright, so we're back at Mario Party 1. We're at Mario Party 1, so, uh, yeah, we're gonna get this started. Hey, look, it's the, uh, same thing they reuse in Mario Party Superstars. So, um, yeah, we're not gonna continue the last game. We're gonna it's been ages since I've used this cartridge. Like, I deep cleaned this cartridge, like, um, like, with, like, Q-tips and isopropyl alcohol, all that shit, basically to avoid, like, this thing crashing. Anyway, so we're gonna use Mario this board. He's kind of my main guy in older Mario parties. Um, I always try to put Luigi in these games, and you'll see why later. Put Wario in there, and let's obviously put the princess. They're all gonna be set to hard to give some kind of challenge because I'm just gonna come out and say it: Mario Party on Easy and Normal is a fucking joke. And the board we're going to play is um, Mario's Rainbow Castle. We're going to be playing 20 turns because I don't want this to take too long. And, uh, yeah. Welcome to Mario's Rainbow Castle.
Welcome everybody, I'm your guy, Cubo Trooper. The castle is here is once a beautiful castle called Rainbow Castle, but the rainbow disappeared, and even the name Rainbow Castle has been forgotten. With your own hands, you must reveal the shining Rainbow Castle once more. I have one piece of advice. In the castle, Toad may change places with Bowser. Now they only stay out of your turn order, and uh, let's see, I'm going... I'm going second. I ideally like to be first or last. Anyway, so, uh, I will explain the uh, board mechanics when it gets to my turn. And so he's gonna roll a, uh, two. So, uh, yeah, so, um, I will explain the board mechanics when it gets to my turn, but first I gotta adjust some settings because I'm playing this on original cartridge. So, uh, save after every turn in case the cartridge crashes and, uh, messes me to fast. So, uh, those are the settings. And, um, I'll explain the, uh, the uh, board mechanics. Every time you see, Co every time you pass Koopa, you get ten. You get ten coins. You get twenty coins either if you're the fifth, the tenth person to pass Koopa, or this last five turns. And uh, these are happening spaces. Um, basically, they change Toad and Bowser. And the main board mechanics is that um, if you see Toad, you get twenty coins for a star. If you see Bowser, you lose forty coins. And uh, yeah, Th those are basically all I can explain for this board. And I th hey, yeah, you get a one player mini game. Okay, good knock block tower because I don't really like ghost gas much. A stack of wood blocks comes from crashing down. I break the box to get the treasure chest on chop. Fuck! I don't normally lose this. Of course, I'm not really used to playing Mario Party 1. I'm used to playing Mario Party... Believe it or not, even though the N64 is designed for CRTs, I'm not used to playing Mario Party 1 on a CRT. She also gets a one-player minigame. This was before you can skip CPU minigames. No, no, no. Of course she fucking gets Whack-A-Plant, the best one. Right after I lose five coins, she gets fucking Whack-A-Plant. Yeah, Whack-A-Plant, let, let me just come out and say it. Losing this minigame is impossible. You basically just, like, get a free-for-all. Like, you get, like, four coins and, like... Five coins. You can get up to 30 fucking coins in this minigame. This minigame always reminded me of that uh, bouncing th minigame in Super Mario RPG, which was a game I've been playing through maybe for video purposes, maybe not. Look at that. She already has 23 fucking coins. Well, she, she didn't get 30 coins. But yeah, that is cheap. I get I get knocked off power and lose, and she gets fucking whack-a-plant. Alright, minigame time. What's the first minigame gonna be? It's none other than... Box mount. I don't like this one! <laughs> I really don't like this minigame. Break them out in the stack boxes. You can find coins inside. It's random on which one it gets. So basically, um. I didn't get any coin bags. I can't tell if I got a coin bag. I got 17? Holy shit! You know, at least I'm no longer in last. I think I might have landed on coin bags. I don't know. Anyway, so, uh... Of course I fucking get a red space. I will say 2v2 minigames are actually pretty rare in this game because of how uncommon it is to get a red space. And look, I say that as we get a 2v2 minigame. 
All right, Death or Dash is easy with the AI. Grant did. It's more pretty two equivalent. Dungeon Duo says uh, a pain in the ass to play online with people and superstars, except it's it, like rando. It's like. One thing I like to do with Mario Party Superstars is that I love to play that game online with my friends, but like I really don't like to play against randos. Though Peach doesn't really need any more coins. <laughs> 